Hello, this is Adam Rosh from Rosh Review. And I wanna show you some really great features that you could use to help while you're taking your online open book ABEM concert exam. So if you go to the My Exams tab and you see here there's a search exams field. I know that um, there's a question that comes up on let's say lightning injuries, right? Who do you care for in the event of a lightning injury, mass casualty type event? You see here, if I type in lightning injury, I could go right to this question. And I have a very nice summary of lightning injuries. And I see here a question that's talking about who should receive the highest priority. Now, this is a commonly asked topic on board exams. Uh, so uh, this is a nice way to quickly find a question like this. So let's go back and do a few more here. Let's say, you know, let's see, questions that come up that I don't commonly know the answers to off the top of my head. Let's say the Ellis classification of dental fractures, right? That one always uh, I had struggled with. So we could type it in and sure enough, we could get a very nice diagram here of the Ellis classification for uh, tooth fracture. That's quite useful. Okay, let's say we have a question on impetigo and you know I don't really do much pediatric medicine. So I can't remember the treatment of impetigo. So we type in impetigo and sure enough, we get a question right on it. We get a nice picture of this golden crusted lesion and we see right here that this specific question is asking about management and mu mupirocin is the answer. And then we get a nice summary of impetigo and the treatment and the disease process and the microbiology of it. Everything is right here for impetigo. So let's go back and let's say we had a question. I tell you what, a question that I always would um, it always would, uh, the topic would appear on the board so often, eventually I learned it, uh, whoops, uh, but it had to do with radiation and absolute neutrophil count, let's say. So we type that in right here, and sure enough, we see uh, the classic question about radiation exposure and what cell line do we see a decrease in uh, that's important to track. And we see here a very nice graph looking at uh, absolute neutrophil count dropping within uh, 48 hours, the nadir uh, as a predictive tool. So these, uh, this is a very powerful way uh, to use your search feature built into Rosh Review. Uh, you could use it for any topic, ECGs, treatment, management, pathophysiology, risk factors, whatever it may be. And it rapidly identifies information on that topic that you're going to need to know. Now, it's not, we're not saying that you're going to be able to get the answer immediately, but at least it provides the right context for you to be able to um, arrive at the correct answer. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. Give it a try uh, before you take the actual uh, exam and see, uh, see what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at roshaview.com. Thank you.